one of the questions I had quite a bit was how do I plan a picture or how do I go about creating something on a Santorini stone? Well, one of the things you have to do if you create something on a Santorini stone is, first of all, um, get the shape of the Santorini stone correct. So what I did was I just traced around it with a pencil so that I had the shape of it on a piece of paper. And then once I do that, I know what space I have to work in. And I just start sketching. So it's never like totally clear how it's gonna come out. When I first start, I just usually have an idea. So I had this idea that I would make um, a pumpkin here in the middle. And since it was getting close to Halloween and it's October and everything, maybe we could do a little tea party with the pumpkin being the table and we could invite hedgehogs to it. I had a lot of folks that that um, really liked the hedgehogs and wanted to see more about those. So what I'm making here is just a real rough sketch. Oh, I hope you can see it. These are the mushrooms, little mushrooms. These are gonna be the chairs. And then, and like I said, this is still kind of rough. I always end up adjusting these and making them better, but I'm going to put a, a little hedgehog here. He's gonna be sitting on it. His little hands, his little arms are out right here. His little legs are here. And then let me do another one on this side. They pretty much have, their profile has a little bit of fur here that comes up like a crew cut on their forehead. Curves around the back. And then I'll make one here, just kind of facing forward. That one's gonna be sort of egg-shaped because his face is coming around to the front. His little arms. We'll give them some little teacups. Kind of the lines that are in the pumpkin. Like I said, this is super rough, but I just wanna give you an idea of how I start. And a lot of times I'll just go over this and just make corrections or add things or take things out that I didn't like. I'm gonna go ahead and this is a really tiny rock because I didn't want to do anything too big for a, a demonstration. But I'm gonna add some trees on the sides here, which the trees you can manipulate to frame your subject. This one's really wide at the base. It's a little closer to the hedgehogs. I'll make a little opening in it here. Maybe it's a doorway for a little hedgehog family. And then on the doorstep, we can maybe put another pumpkin. Some windows. And this is gonna end up being kind of a fairy tale story rock. Fairy tale story rock. Okay. And since it's fall, we could have leaves falling. Now this is really just my imagination. I'm not really looking at anything, so these hedgehogs are very, very rough. I'm gonna add a few more mushrooms. Mushrooms are always lovely.
The next thing I do when I'm making a drawing for, when I'm trying to decide what to put on a Santorini stone is I take a piece of tracing paper and I trace over my idea. So that just takes a few minutes. I have to make sure I get it the way I had it on the sketchbook and then I also use this opportunity to even out things and perfect things that may be a little bit awkward or not as perfect as I want them. So for example, I'm adding a little handle to the teacup. Making sure that it's just easy to see his ears. I'm not going to go too overboard on shading or anything because I don't want shading on my Santorini. I'm going to use paint to fill in my Santorini. Okay, this is drawn on to the tracing paper. Next step, I'm going to take the tracing paper off and then I'm going to take something darker than pencil or more colorful than pencil and I'm going to trace over my tracing again. I'm going to use a ballpoint pen and I'm just going to go over these little guys with a ballpoint pen so it's not the same as pencil. That way when I when I scribble graphite pencil all over the back of it, I will be able to see my drawing on the front. The next thing I have to do is transfer my drawing to the rock. As you can see, I went over it in dark black ink. Now I'm gonna flip it over to its back side and I'm going to take pencil and just rub pencil all over it. I like to do it this way instead of just drawing directly onto the stone for the first time because that way I have an opportunity to change things or fix them or get them where I want them and not have to keep erasing off of the stone. Make sure you go over it twice. And I'm just going over the lines. I don't have to go over the empty spaces. But go over it a couple of times so there's enough on there. Sometimes it won't transfer if you don't put enough on. Okay, I think this should be good. Now, I'm gonna put my Santorini stone here. I'm gonna put my drawing over it. And I'm gonna just move it around until it's exactly where I need to have it. I think this tree is gonna come off partially. I'm going to fold this underneath so that it can stay in place better. And then I'm going to take, I'm going to use a red pen now so that I can see where I've traced it. So I'm going to just start tracing it now. This is the last time I have to trace. I took off my tracing paper and it looks like it didn't didn't come through all the way in some places so I'm gonna have to just go back and look at my drawing as I finish sketching it in here but I still have enough guidelines that it makes it easier for me the mistake I made is that I tucked both ends under 
and I didn't check, didn't lift it up to check to make sure it was transferring okay. Next time I'll not forget to do that. This gives me a chance now, I'm gonna slow down and I'm going to just study more carefully my characters and get them even more detailed because after I get the drawing on here, that's when I'm gonna to start to paint and I don't wanna to start to paint until I have my characters just where I want them and just how I want them. All right, so this is the drawing on the stone. I went over it a little bit and kind of clarified some things, but I keep drawing with my paint when I paint, so I don't have to have it exactly. I can change things still while I'm painting because really painting is really like another form of drawing, except you're filling in spots. So I'm gonna summarize. First thing I did was I made a sketch in my sketchbook. And I, I traced the stone so I knew what size to make it and then I sketched. And then I traced my sketch on tracing paper and then I went over that with black ink. Then I put it on my stone and I traced over it again with red ink so I could see everywhere that I was tracing. And then I took my pencil and the places that came out really light and the places that didn't come out at all, I just went ahead and went back and filled them in using my drawing as a reference. That is the trouble I go through <laughs> before I start something on a Santorini stone. And really the storybook rock, this is a small, a tiny one. Usually they're much bigger. They're usually four times bigger. So they take a really long time to do. But when I come back, I'm going to go ahead and, and show you how I start painting it. Until then, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope that you subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up. I hope you all have a good week. Talk to you soon.